Fairfield School dressed up in red on Valentine's Day to show their support for 10-year-old Brooklyn Middleditch, who was born with a hole in her heart. These days riding the swing is not a problem for Brooklyn, thanks to a heart operation five years ago. My things that I can do now, like my favourite sport, football, hip-hop, I can just do anything. Brooklyn's mum says that things were different before the operation. There were things like um, running around outside with the other children and if it got a bit cold she used to have to come in because her body took a little bit longer to heat up than the other children. Um, she had three monthly checkups. Their family received a lot of help from the charity Heart Kids, an organisation which provides lifelong support for children and families affected by childhood heart defects. Heart Kids have always been there for us. They um, come to appointments, um, they help clarify information if I'm unsure. Um, they've always been there for support, they've just always been a phone call away. Uh, assisted us with care packages when we flew up to Auckland. Um, even helped at home with Nixon as he had to stay behind our youngest. Um, we have family fun days, which are great. I get to meet other families in Otago with their children. Heart Kids Regional Family Support Coordinator Marlene Parks says her charity uses Valentine's Day to raise awareness for their cause. Being Valentine's Day, we're showing our love um, and recognising the one in every hundred Kiwi children that are born with a congenital heart defect in New Zealand. Um, every week there are 12 babies in New Zealand born with a congenital heart defect. Um, heart kids receive no uh, government funding and we're absolutely reliant on donations and fundraising. We're a small charity with a big job. The once yearly medical checkups on Brooklyn's heart have now been decreased to just once every two years. And Fairfield School is right behind her in celebrating Valentine's Day as a day for heart kids. Rudy Adrian, The South Today.